This video is about electron volts and how they compare to joules. An electron volt is a unit of energy, just like a joule. It's usually written as EV, lowercase e and capital V. We use electron volts to measure small amounts of energy. So electron volts and joules measure the same thing, but they measure different quantities of that thing. Specifically, one electron volt is the exact amount of energy one electron or proton gains when it passes through a region of one volt of voltage. So that's the definition of one electron volt. That's what electron volts are measuring. So it's literally an electron moving through a volt. And when that happens, you get exactly one electron volt of energy in the electron. Because voltage is equal to the change in energy over the charge, I can rearrange this equation to find the change in energy. And I know that the charge of an electron is 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. So because one electron volt is the energy that one electron gains when it passes through one volt, one electron volt will be equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs multiplied by one volt. And because that gets me an answer in joules, this allows me to compare electron volts and joules. So again, they're both units of energy, but one electron volt is equal to 1.60 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So this is how you would go from one to the other. You can use this identity to convert from one back to the other. One way that I remember this is one electron volt is literally one electron's worth of charge, but as a joule instead of a coulomb, because it's just multiplied by one volt to get to a joule. To find the number of electron volts electrons gain, all you have to do is multiply the number of electrons by the number of volts, and that's it. So as an example, if one electron passed through a region of one volt, it would gain one electron volt of energy. If an electron passed through a region of two volts, again, you just multiply the number of electrons by the number of volts. So here that's one electron times two volts. So that's gonna result in two electron volts of energy being gained by the electron. The reason why that happens is that that electron passing through that two volt space is equivalent to one electron passing through a one volt region, just like that first example, and gaining one volt and then passing through another one volt region and gaining one volt again. So I can see that that would gain two volts. Similarly, if I had two electrons passing through a one volt region, they would also gain two electron volts. And the reason why that's the case is that those two electrons moving through the one volt region are equivalent to two individual electrons, each moving through their own one volt region. That's kind of literally what's happening there. So I know from my very first example that each individual electron would gain one electron volt of energy, so altogether they would gain two electron volts. So I can use this to understand the fact that the number of electron volts gained by electrons is equal to the number of electrons multiplied by the voltage. So now I'm ready to do some example problems with what I've learned. Problem one says how many joules are in 250 electron volts? So this first one's pretty simple. We just have to convert from electron volts to joules. So I'll use a factor label where I wanna get rid of electron volts. So I'll put that in the denominator. I'll put joules in the numerator, and then I'll write numbers next to them to make the numerator and denominator equal to each other. If you're confused about converting units, I've left a video on using this method to convert units in the video description. When I multiply this fraction out, I get 4.0 times 10 to the negative 17th joules, so that's how many joules there are in 250 electron volts. Problem number two says how many electron volts are in 2.6 times 10 to the negative 8th joules. So I just take that number and multiply it by a conversion factor. Here I have joules in the denominator because I'm trying to get rid of joules and replace it with electron volts. And when I do that, this is the answer that I get, 1.63 times 10 to the 11th electron volts. Problem number three says 25 electrons pass through 5 volts. How much energy do they gain in electron volts? So the number of electron volts gained is just the number of electrons multiplied by the number of volts. So that's going to be equal to 125 electron volts. Problem number four says 30 protons pass through 8 volts. How much energy do they gain in joules? Now I know that protons have the same magnitude of charge as electrons. So they're also going to gain that same amount of energy. It's just 30 protons, the number of protons times the number of volts. So that's going to be 240 electron volts, but I want that in joules. So I just have to use my method for converting from electron volts to joules. And when I do that, I find 3.84 times 10 to the negative 17th joules is how much energy those protons gained. Problem number five says electrons gain 40 electron volts. After passing through eight volts, how many electrons are there? So I know that the number of electron volts is equal to the number of electrons times the voltage. So if I rearrange that equation, I find that the number of electrons, if I divide both sides by voltage, is equal to the number of electron volts over the voltage. 
So I just plug in my numbers that I'm given, and I find that the number of electrons is 5. Problem number six says electrons gain 6.72 times 10 to the negative 18th joules after passing through seven volts. How many electrons are there? So here I'm gonna use the same equation as problem number five because I'm trying to find the number of electrons, but I don't have the number of electron volts. I have joules instead, so I'm going to have to convert joules to electron volts. So I'll multiply that by one electron volt over 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. And when I do that, I find that I have 42 electron volts. So I plug in my number, I also plug in the 7 volts to find 6 electrons. So that's what electron volts are, they're just another unit of energy, and that's how you identify their number and use them to solve other problems.